Hello everybody, today I'm going to do a quick review of uh, the Bamboo uh, graphics tablet by Wacom or Wacom, depends where you're from I suppose. But yeah, that's it. I ordered it off Amazon, .co.uk for £48 and uh, I thought it was through their website but it wasn't, it was actually through their marketplace thing. And uh, but it was very good. I got it. I, got, I ordered it on the the Sunday, and it was delivered a couple of days later on Christmas Eve. So there we go. Here's the tablet. It's basically got two modes: pen mode and mouse mode. And uh, I usually keep it in pen mode because I don't use it as a mouse. But as you can see, it's uh, shiny black at the top, so it picks up the dust. As you can see, the dust has settled. Here are the shortcut buttons, and this is uh, pretty good. These are pretty good because you can assign these to different um, shortcuts whenever you want. Like this is forward and back in uh, Internet Explorer. This one I've set to uh, return to desktop, and this one I've set to open up Explorer. So uh, I can just press that and it will come up. I might as well show you actually. Here we go. There we go. Just to prove it, show I'm not lying. But yeah, it's pretty good. Um, here's a little design I've done with it so far. It's about 10 minutes worth, just a bloke looking rather rather uh, grotty, but never mind. And this is pretty cool this little shortcut button in the middle. It's like a sort of iPod wheel. And you can uh, zoom in and zoom out just by touching it on that. As you can see, I'm doing that. And it's really useful actually. You tap it up and down to go up or down the picture as well. It works really well. The pen is. Uh, pretty good as well. It's got these two little buttons on it for a right and left click. There's the little one and nib at the end. I don't think they're interchangeable. I've, I haven't tried forcing it out. There's the rubber on the end as well if you want to do any rubbing out or anything. As you can see it, it I'll, I'll show you on the it moves. Like so. Oh, there you go. See, you can just do a colour of it in there like that. As you can see, works a treat. This is a uh, pretty cheap looking though. It's just a bit, bit of hollow plastic. It isn't very uh, good, but for forty eight pounds, you can't really complain. So yeah, so there we go. Also, um, takes a bit of use to it, getting used to the pen itself. If you haven't used one before, but um, you do get better at it the more you use it. So yeah, overall, it's a good little uh, piece of kit. Does the job for me because I like uh, doing cartoons and things like that on it. I'm quite arty, so I bought one, and I wanted something cheap. And I'm glad, uh, but not rubbish. You know what I mean? I'm glad Wacom do this because uh, they do the next one up in the line is about 140 pounds, and I don't really want to spend that kind of money because I'm not going to be using it that much. So 48 pounds for it was pretty good, really. That's the cheapest I could find it. But yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty thin if you look at it. It's like virtually paper thin. So, uh, well, I wouldn't go that far, but it's thin. Any questions, just comment me on the thing. So, uh, yeah, wonderful. This video is going to need some heavy editing because I've messed it up a lot. So, uh, thank you and good night.